because I can't remember if that was Scorpio or Sag. So we're going to do another one for Sagittarius because I think that might have been Scorpio. And so now we're doing Sag. And if I did Sag the second time, then Sagis, you've got two here because I guess one will be for Scorpio Sagis and one will be for regular Sagis. How's that? Okay. So let's do this one for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And I might have just been straight up Scorpio and I, I zoned out. Who knows? So let's see. Sagittarius. This is definitely Sag, you know, no matter what I'm doing right now, though. Okay, this is definitely Sag. I'm specifically doing Sagittarius, okay? So there's no if, ands, or buts, or Scorpio is up in this mix. This is about Sag. What's going on with my Sag? friends, my Sagittarius brothers and sisters. I've got Sagittarius rising here in Seattle. I talk about it often. So I feel akin to Sagittarius. And in Eastern astrology, I was uh, told I've got Sagittarius uh, rising and a Sagittarius sun. So I'm an honorary Sagittarius. How's that? <laughs> So this is the cards I got for you, Saggy. And this is definitively for Saggy. A Ten of Cups. I love it. I love it because at the end of Scorpio season comes Sagittarius season. So you may have a, a, a Sagittarius be going toward that Ten of Cups. And here's the Ace of Pentacles right after it. I love that. You are definitely getting your emotional fulfillment, your financial fulfillment. It's beautiful. And next is the Four of Swords. The only thing, Saji, is that your heart is like outside of your body. You may, you know, may not even be aware of it, that there's a lot going on, but romance might not be one of those things. So maybe it's about time to get back inside of, to think with your heart again. And here's the Six of Wands. Oh, I do sense that you've got success coming. My goodness, you've got success coming, Sagittarius. Especially when you stand out and you go in the spotlight. When you're not afraid to shine. Next is the King of Swords. I mean, I can see you gathering information. And it ends on, um, on the page of wand. I mean, gathering information so you can have creative ideas. Like, this is extreme creativity. So I sense that some... Uh, Sagittarius's are going to be very creative and, you know, just getting their needs met because the Ace of Pentacles is also very sensual. It's earthy. And so I feel like some Saggies are really going to be very earthy in the way that they go about getting that Ten of Cups. Very creative in getting their Ten of Cups. Very creative in how they win. On the bottom of the deck for Saggy, Knight of Cups. So maybe either you are the one making the offer to someone or someone's going to make that emotional, romantic offer to you. I love it. Love it. Okay, let's see what the Romance Oracle cards want to tell Sagittarius. Let's see. Romance Oracle cards. Let's see what we got here. Romance Oracle cards. Let's see what we're telling Sagittarius. So show me clearly the message for Sagittarius. Show me clearly. What are we sharing with Sagi? What are, yeah, show me clearly. What is this special message for Sagi? Just need a few more cards for Sagi. Show me clearly. Oh my. Well, three came out. I'll take them. Let's see what we're telling Sagi. So Sagi, here's what you got. Healing family issues. Some Sagittarius are, are healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Also, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You're healing something. Something that happened and you've got to heal it and let it go. Because the next uh, card was let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And then there was codependence. There's really something going on maybe here where you're going back to someone that you're codependently connected to or could just be at other addictions or affecting your romantic life like drinking or alcohol maybe it has something to do with children your love life is being affected by your children perhaps there's codependency 
with your like baby daddy or baby mama or because it says a healing family issues and reconciling and uh let go of control issues and codependency and then children so i think it might be something like that like uh maybe you're with your baby mama baby daddy uh and you're getting back together after whatever or you might be in a situation where you keep getting back together and they keep going out on you like i just sense that could be happening or has happened but the last card here was stay optimistic about your love life, Sagittarius. Positive thinking and faith will bring your romance. So stay positive. Stay positive. No matter what you've been through, stay positive this time. This time could be the right time. Or it could be that you got someone completely new who is going to help, you know, keep you staying positive and optimistic about your love life. So good luck, Sagi. Astrology. A look inside. Presenting Astrology and Tarot Readings for All.